The trial for the father charged with murdering his two teenage daughters continued today with testimony from his ex-wife. Hello everybody, I'm Heather Hayes. The jury heard from the mother, the mother of the victims who described living in fear of Yasser Saeed and threatening one girl with a gun. Fox 4's Alex Boyer was in court today and joins us now live with testimony. Alex. Hi, Heather, and on the witness stand today, I can tell you that Yasser Saeed's ex-wife called him the devil. Patricia Owens uh, testified he was controlling and abusive throughout the entirety of their relationship. She talked about the plot to run away uh, back on Christmas Day 2007 with her daughters and why she ultimately brought them back to Texas. Hours later, they would be found shot to death. Ms. Owens, um, is Yasser Saeed in the courtroom today? Yes, he is. Can you please identify him? That devil there. Patricia Owens coming face to face with her ex-husband Yasser Saeed for the first time since prosecutors say he killed their two teenage daughters, Sarah and Amina, inside a taxi cab on New Year's Day 2008. Yasser was abusive. Okay. Were you scared of getting hurt? Yes, ma'am. Owens testified Saeed was controlling and that she and the kids left several times over the years but always came back. Why would you go back? I was just scared. Owens testified that Sarah told her their father threatened Amina with a gun. That revelation in part prompted Owens to flee the family home with her two daughters on Christmas Day 2007, packing clothes in trash bags. The girls' two boyfriends went with them to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where they got an apartment. Owens told the jury Saeed left messages on their cell phones begging them to come back. On New Year's Eve, the day before the murders, they returned to Texas. Ms. Owens, this is a tough question, but Amina knew what could happen to her. Yes. Did you comprehend what could happen to her? I did. A part of me did. A part of me didn't. Um, he, yeah, I'm sorry. Owens described what happened the next day. Saeed took the teens in the taxi cab to eat and talk and refused to let her come along. A short time later, the sisters were found shot to death in the cab in Irving. Saeed nowhere to be found. On cross-examination, the defense tried to paint their outing in a positive light. Yasser is apparently very happy to see his daughter again. Yes. The defense did not try to explain Saeed's whereabouts. The state also called the lead Irving police detective to the stand. Retired detective Randall Johnson testified that after the murders, Owens turned over a green ammo box she claimed belonged to Saeed. During direct examination, Johnson testified that the make of some of the 9 millimeter bullets in the box matched some of the shell casings found at the murder scene. If you can read me the brand name on the live bullet that was found in the magazine. That's a Winchester 9mm Luger. And we also learned that the GPS inside of the taxi cab they were riding in had been turned off on New Year's Eve. The prosecution contends that Saeed did that in order so that the taxi cab could not be tracked. We also learned today during examination from Patricia Owens uh, that her two daughters had recently gotten engaged in secret, something she said, of course, that Saeed would not have been happy about.